Oh, I got licked to death. Tasmania on the Mega Drive. It's from 1992. It was a classic game. I remember this. It was very popular at the time. I had it. So let's dive in and see what we got. So it's got a very loose story about getting a giant egg to feed everyone. Uh, this was literally the explanation screen. Uh, one of a giant eggs could feed a family of our ancestors for a year. Plot over. Let's get into it. Okay, so you had many different levels, different areas. There's ice levels, there's jungle levels. We sort of start in the desert to begin with. We also go to some factories, um, so on. Yeah, so this was based on the cartoon show. I watched it. It was on CITV um, in the UK. I don't know if it was also on Saturday morning telly as well afterwards. It's along with Animaniacs, that sort of time, uh, sort of era. So it was very popular. I enjoyed it. And that's why I got the game. And the game was brutal kills me if I pay no attention um, the game was very popular at the time it was top of the charts for the first couple of months when it came out uh, in the UK the irony as I've, I've played this game and you'll probably see me do it that I think oh it's pretty tough because he keeps dying and everything but uh, no it was actually people complained about it being too easy it was too easy. it was a great game to look at uh, the style of it the cartoon style played well but it was just too easy Yep, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, sort of diet it quite a lot. Let's get to a continue bit. Um, so you can jump on these. Do I want to jump on this one? I think I do. We'll just go over down here, kill this. All right. The spin's great for getting everything and you can whiz along, but you also get rid of the bottles that are health. That were good, and there's other health bits. Um, he does a little fire blow if I eat something. I think that's the drink I pretty much got. So I can do that, but it does different things with the A button, uh, depending what you drink or eat. Let's see if we can do this bit. There we go. Kill them. I want to say there's something else to get here. But I can't remember. Oh, it's just these guys. Let's try and jump over them. Quick sands, get out. Right, so before we go on a bit further, let me tell you my first bit of little... Um, so before we go any further, let me tell you my little trivia bit, the first one to begin with. Uh, Sega had three versions of this game, obviously a Mega Drive version, a Game Gear version, and a Master System version. And they're all done by three different uh, publishing companies, which was quite bizarre for a change. So let me look at my notes to remember, recreational, recreational Brainware, get my words out, uh, did the Mega Drive version, this popular one we're playing now. New FX did the Game Gear version. And Technical Wave are, did the Master System version. Um, there you go, if I can speak. Um, so it's not uncommon, they could do it, but you'd imagine most of them generally seem to do it in-house in one company. They do all three different versions. Um, so that's a bit of a different one. They all seem to look the same, play quite the same. Um, but yeah, interesting. Uh, I'm only going, mm, because this is a tricky bit, but you can, you can cheese it by doing it the easy way, by jumping on here. And then just across there, that's, that's a technical term. Please don't take it. I'm going to patent it. Now, I must confess, we'll see how we get on here. I'm not good at this level. I had a little practice on my Twitch channel. For, I'll have a practice before I do a video. And I did Tails level. Uh, most people could probably do it in about two minutes when you know what you're doing. I honestly took about half an hour the first time. And the reason being, there's lots of jumping. So if there's lots of editing now. You, you might know why. Let's jump up here a bit. Jump up there. Jump over there. Jump over there. Eat that. Not too bad so far. We'll see how we get on. And there we go. Right, back again. <laughs> Let's see how we fare. I will just eat that. I don't really need to eat that. This makes me... There's no point in me being invincible at the minute. Right, if I eat these bombs though, they will make me blow up. So I wanted to get rid of them. And let's get to one continue point. In case I do die, just in case. I know it's shocking and you'd think it wouldn't happen, but it can. It can. Anything can happen. Um, yep, yeah, so let's carry on jumping. I hate jumping levels. I mean, just generally. People like to do it, don't they? Right, here's a tricky one. You can't see where the jump is. I know I need to go to a platform here. 
I practiced on it. Um, and get. And if you spin like that, you roll to the bottom. Should have learned that one. Okay, so we're back up here again. Let's see how we fare onto this platform. Made it. Just jump up. Get up here. Hooray! Spin all the way along here. And get the extra life. That's what we need. So let's stop before it gets chaotic again and tell the next sort of juicy bit. Um, Another company did it. Well, we've done all the Sega ones, but when they did it on the Nintendo, another company did it. But it was a different type of game. Instead of a 2D side strolling game, it was run, done from a third person perspective. And the idea of that one was to go along and collect Kiwi. You had a certain time limit, obviously obstacles in the way. You were just moving towards the screen. Um, but yeah, yet another version called Tasmania. But a different type of game. Right. We're going to avoid the bombs on this bit. Just bomb through. Bomb through, but avoid the bombs. Oh, I got licked to death. Got to jump. Oh, don't eat one. Because it gives you severe indigestion. Right, we'll eat this though. That'll make us better already. Hooray, we got to the end of that level. I mean, it's it's just... I don't know what's about the level. There's certain levels in games, isn't there, as you find along. There's that level. There's another level later on that just got courageous. We all have sticky levels, don't we, that we're like, get stuck on. Right, here's a boss. Let's wait till it appears. There it is. Runs me over. Standing one spot is the easiest way to do this, of course. Not even a standard 8 in Sonic, you know, 3 in Mario, 4 in Tasmania. I mean, if you're a Mario sort of person, you're misled there thinking, oh, 3, oh my god, there's another one. Anyway, let's whiz along here. See, there is some good stuff because you can pick boxes up and you have to use them little puzzles like to get to certain areas. So that's pretty clever, pretty good of a game. Here was the sequel. Um, not a direct sequel, it was Taz Escape from Mars and it was in the same sort of style as this game fall off Chris um, but it wasn't actually a direct sequel I didn't have a character in it from the TV series or anything like that they did try to make a direct sequel called, which was surprisingly going to be called Taz 2 um, and it was going to be a sort of isometric view sort of 3D view so you can move in and out a bit like Sonic 3D became and a couple of other games uh, but unfortunately that got cancelled so that never came to fruition um, which is a bit of a shame because I bet it would be good so this is why this one is sort of fondly remembered. Go up to the roof. Anything exciting up here? Another turkey. Because that's always where I, I cook a turkey, right? And I think, I'm going to leave that on the roof of my factory to cool. Because, you know, why wouldn't you? You want it outside to cool, but not just on the window ledge. Let's put it on a roof of a factory. Anyway. Just me. I mean, there's worse things in games. You think, why is the Tasmanian Devil going around spinning and a sort of platform game? But, you know, me, chickens on roofs. So I really like this game, like I say. I had it as a child uh, when I first had the Mega Drive. I remember playing for ages. Honestly, I could actually do it in the 30 minutes that it states because it's a short game. Because it's too easy, apparently. But there you go. Tasmania. So there you go. I hope you liked that video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you like everything 90s gaming, reviews, gameplay footage and other interesting articles, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I upload videos weekly. Um, if you want to see some of those videos, here's one up here and here's one down here. But until next time, bye.